Okay, guys. <clears throat> okay, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my top two bushcrafting knives for the, at least the beginning of 2020. We're going to be discussing what they are and why these are my top two and the type of bushcrafting that I'm going to be doing that requires the facilitation of these types of knives as opposed to others. Okay, so let's start out with first what these knives are. So the one on the bottom here is an LT Wright Legome bush knife. And the one on the top is a Battle Horse Knives Battle Lore. Now I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of these knives on the channel, and so it probably comes as not a huge surprise that these are my top two bushcrafting knives. But I'm going to be breaking down why I'm choosing these two as opposed to something like the CRK Pacific. Now, I want to start off saying that the CRK Pacific is a great knife, and by no means it, do I, did I sell it. I still use it, and I still definitely have it. However, the reason why I've swapped to smaller knives like these two is because of the type of bushcrafting that I'm doing. And this is actually a style or really a focus of bushcrafting that I've been trying to focus on for a number of years. It's just really about finding the right place, which I now have. And that type of bushcrafting, as you guys will be seeing more in the summer, or spring and summer and fall, is going to be reliant, or not so much reliant, but focused on building bushcrafting structures is the best way to put it. So that means shelters, that means elevated kitchens, that means things that are on the larger scale side of bushcrafting. And the reason why I'm focusing on this is it's a skill that I personally really enjoy and love, and it's a skill that I haven't been able to focus on as purely and as intentionally as in years past, and I want to get back to it to retain those skills and hone those skills. Now, what that means for bushcrafting knives is generally the knives are smaller because I'm focusing on bringing out larger saws, larger axes that require more space in the kit and add more weight to the kit overall. And of course, it's not going to be perfect when you scale down from a larger knife to a smaller knife and you know you add a a five pound axe as opposed to a three pound axe of course it's not going to quite equally balance out but essentially but essentially the primary reason it's done is because the focus is being taken less off the knife not to say that i won't have a bush crafting knife of course i'll have one of these two but the focus is being put more on using the larger tools such as larger saws and felling axes to drop larger lumber to build larger projects so that is why I chose or I'm going with one of these two knives. And as far as these two knives, as far as the top one and two, this is number two and this is going to be number one. And that's for a couple reasons. One, I very much know and love the bush or very much know and love the battle lore. It's an excellent knife. It really is amazing. But I really don't know too much about the Legome. I haven't used it as much as I've used the Battle Lore. And the other thing is, it's the smaller of the two. And once again, when I am packing out with a larger axe and a larger saw, I'm trying to go with the smallest tools that I can that will still allow me to effectively use them when it comes to knives. And like I said, there's also a less emphasis of using a larger knife for larger tasks because I will have both a large axe and a large saw to accomplish the tasks that a larger fixed blade would allow me to do. Now, of course, this is only a generalization. Uh, when I do go out and bushcraft, I will still bring the Pacific, the Tom Brown Tracker. Of course, I have those knives still. They haven't gone anywhere. And I do look forward to using all of my knives in my collection for bushcrafting. But these are, as the title states, my primary bushcrafting knives for 2020. Going into it, going into spring, going into summer. These are what I want to use because of the fact that I'm going to be balancing them with much larger saws and axes. So hopefully that gives you guys some explanation and a kind of insight into my tool choice and my tool selection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video and as always, God bless and I'm out.